Hi there, my name is Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky, and let's have a closer look at the application Raycast. I was using Alfred for a lot of years, and I quite like him. And I discovered Raycast, and I like it more. Both of these applications are more than just app launchers. Both of them have built-in features to enhance your productivity, and both of them have extensions you can use to customize the app to do your bidding. I suspect that the application Raycast has more extensions available. It can be a very good idea to use both of these applications. I like to put the favorite of these two on the keyboard shortcuts command and spacebar, the one that used for Spotlight. And I put the other one onto the option spacebar. Raycast at the moment is in the number one spot. My muscle memory guides me to my favorite of the two applications. It's easy to get the command spacebar with that, so that's what I do. Apart from using Raycast to upload applications, or use it instead of Spotlight to find files, I often use it to access my latest clipboard items. I get quick access to clipboard and I just have to type in the letters CLP. This takes me directly to my clipboard history. I've also downloaded another extension which allows me to append or prepend to the active clipboard. This is really good if you want to collect a number of items of text from various places to put all into one document. If you haven't done so already, click on the like button because it's always a good idea to hack the YouTube algorithm and get these videos in front of people. Thanks very much. Another of my favorite extensions at the moment is the password generator extension. When you have a look through extensions available in the extension store, there are a couple of possibilities to generate passwords. I expect the extensions are all safe enough to use, but it's a good idea, I think, to pick the one that's had the most downloads. It's probably safer. There are also extensions which will connect up to various password managers, such as 1Password or GoPass. The password generator I use is really simple. You only have to put in the number of characters you want to use for your password. Press Command and Enter, and the password goes to your clipboard. Obviously, it's a good idea to use this in conjunction with a password manager, and that password manager could be the system password manager, or it could be the password manager in the browser, for instance. Just as long as you keep your password safe and in a secure place. Don't be tempted to put them into a text file on your hard drive without protection. That is never a good idea. It is a good idea to use two-factor authentication wherever possible. And you could connect Raycast to the Authy application with the extensions available for that app. Another application I use on my computer is called Bunch. And this is a highly configurable application launcher and quitter. And you can put a bunch of applications into it. That's why it's called Bunch. If you work regularly with a bunch of applications, you can make sure all those applications are open and ready for you to use with just one click. Bunch is just the job for this task. Raycast gives you quick access to your bunch setups. It gives you nine commands, including commands to create or close bunches, as well as access to your bunch preferences. These bunch files are only text files, but you can do a lot with them. Open, hide, focus, activate apps, run an Apple script, uh, set the desktop so it's ready or clean for when you're recording a screencast. You can send keyboard combinations to make other things happen, such as a command to Moom to set a size for an application which you've just launched. Look out for a video soon about using Bunch. Have a browse through the extensions in the Raycast store. Have a look at the featured extensions and also the training extensions. You're bound to find something in there which you're going to want to add to your Raycast system. If you are a big user of Apple Notes or if you want to get access to OpenAI GPT-3, or maybe you're a user of Fantastical, there's a huge variety of extensions for you to try out and see how they're going to fit in with your workflow. You'll have to decide yourself whether it's easy to use Raycast as a bridge to the application or if it's better just to go directly to the application and do whatever you need to do. Some Raycast workflows will save you time and clicks and enhance your productivity. So you've used command and spacebar and then you follow that with a shortcut key or an alias and you'll be speedy quick to get where you need to get to to get the job done. Using the keyboard and keyboard shortcuts is great for productivity gen in general. It's kind of like the apps that you have now, which have a command P hotkey, which takes you to a search, like in Obsidian, for example. You only have to type a couple of letters and the fuzzy search brings up what it was you were looking for. And there's less messing about with menus to get things done. 
So when you open Raycast, you get suggestions based on recent use of the application, followed by commands. Use the arrow key if it's quicker than typing in more characters to get where you want to go to. If there is something you use more often, make it a favourite. Assign a keyboard shortcut or an alias and you'll get there quicker. The other keyboard shortcut that you have to remember when you're using Raycast is Command K. And this gives you more options relevant to your choice. Shortcuts. Yes, you can run shortcuts from Raycast. Start typing in the name of the shortcut and make it happen. I have a shortcut, for instance, which toggles voice control. I use dictation a lot. I also have a keyboard combination outside of Raycast to give me to voice control quicker. Have a look at this video at how to use voice control. When you're in Raycast and you've chosen one of the options, it's possible and actually necessary to go back to the starting point if you want to run a different command. For example, you won't be able to do anything with the Obsidian extension or with the snippets if you're in the file search dialog. Snippets are great in Raycast. Have a longer piece of text inserted by typing just a couple of letters, a keyword or a code. Or if you can't remember the code, use the search snippets to quickly get what you want. Use it a lot. It's great. I highly recommend Raycast as a productivity tool for your Mac. Leave a comment below and tell me what your favourite extension is or your use case for Raycast. I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Subscribe to the channel because there's more videos coming. And if you could just go and click on the like button, I'd really appreciate it because it helps to hack the YouTube algorithm and get these videos out there in front of people. Bye-bye now.